of God, we welcome you today into our live broadcast. We are so happy to be with you again. This is your lovely pastors, Pastor Alex and Pastor Trish. And we are here together in the word of God, sharing together this hope of glory that is our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. All those who love the Lord, let me hear you say Jesus. Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Family of God, as my wife has welcomed you, this is amazing to be with you this time in this hour in this atmosphere yes. we believe that uh, as we speak in the spirit of god is going to minister to you the word of god that which we are about to speak hallelujah Amen. remember also i just want to let you know that we are not relying on our limited human abilities to speak in the words that we are about to speak yes. we are relying on the spirit of god within us that allows us to speak mysteries things that are beyond our imagination or understanding so I want you to listen very carefully, very clearly, such that you don't miss anything in detail. Amen. Amen. Because the devil, when he wants to deceive you, he hides that which you about that which is about to change your life in that details. All right. Amen. But when you grab it and you use it, your life will never be the same. Amen. Amen. Mm. Family of God, one thing so amazing happened that God so loved the world. Yeah. And he gave the world his only son. Yeah. And he said, mm. whoever believes in him mm. shall not perish but have eternal life. Wow. Family of God, the Bible says there is no other way to eternal life yes. but only through Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus is the way, the mm. truth, and the life. Amen. No man will see the Father except through Jesus Christ. Amen. So do you have Jesus today? Yeah. If you don't, don't despair. This is your time. Yeah. This is your day. Yeah. You're going to have Jesus by the end of this live broadcast. Mm. And your life will never be the same again. Yeah. I did it. My husband did it. Yeah. Many people did it. Yeah. What are you waiting for, child of God? Don't wait anymore. Yeah. This is a moment that yeah. God has created you for you yeah. to receive Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, my friend, is alive. Yeah. Jesus Christ is alive in me. He's alive in my wife. Yeah. And he's alive. He's going to be alive in our children. Hallelujah. Amen. So one, one thing I want to tell you, my friend, all of us, we are sinners. Oh, you get my point? I'm going to repeat. All of us, we are sinners. We have fallen short of the glory of God one way or the other. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. According to the book of Romans, chapter, chapter 3, verse 23, the Bible says, all of us, we have fallen short of the glory of God. But he, that's why you find out that we as human beings, we cannot save ourselves. Yes. We need Jesus Christ to, to fill a gap for us. Hallelujah. Amen. When Jesus Christ was sent for us, he was sent to redeem us from these bondages. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Such that we can no longer be able to have this big gap, big space between us and God. Mm -hmm. Jesus removed that gap. And then when we accept Jesus Christ, then we cross the gap. Hallelujah. Amen. So, don't be able to cast yourself, to condemn yourself that you are a sinner. Alright? Just know that when you accept Jesus Christ, the sins, they are being removed from you. Yes. And then Jesus Christ bore your sins. Hallelujah. Amen. Also, I want to tell you that God is merciful. Alright? Mm. God is merciful. But I also, I just want you to know that God is love. Amen. Amen. God is love. According to the book of First John chapter 4, verse 8, the Bible says God is love. Mm -hmm. He who does not love does not know God because God is what? Is love. So, God gave us his only son jesus christ Amen. because he loves us so much Amen. and by that when we accept jesus christ we are demonstrating that love upon our life our, our, our lives amen. amen so that means that god because he is love and you accepted his you accept his son into your life you become part of that love hallelujah amen. praise the lord amen. and also the Bible says in the book of Exodus chapter 34, verse 7, God is just and he will never leave the guilty unpunished. Amen. So that means that God 
he will never leave the guilty unpunished. But his justice is so merciful, he does not want to punish us. That's why he gave us his, begot, his only son, Jesus Christ, to save us from the sins that we did unknowingly, unknowingly. My wife, what do you have to say? <laughs> <clears throat> You're gonna cut now. God is so merciful. Wait, then I will cut. God is merciful. All that human beings deserved was eternal punishment. But God said, No, this is my people. The people that have my own breath in their hearts, in their lungs, I have to serve them. Then he sent Jesus Christ, who came and died for all our sins, to pay the penalty for all that we had done. Jesus took all the sins of the world and put them on himself. Mm. And for a time, the father could not look at his son because he was so full of sin. But Jesus Christ endured the cross and he went to the pit of hell mm. and he bent there, burning for our sin. Mm. And after three days, he rose up in glorious mm. glory. Mm. And right now, he's seated at the right hand of the father mm. and his blood is on the mercy seat. Mm. So whenever God looks at us, he sees what his son has done for us and we are forgiven automatically amen. hallelujah for amen. Of God. hallelujah amen praise the lord amen i want to tell you that for you to receive christ you need to have faith yes faith is a substance of things hoped for with the evidence of things that are not seen mm -hmm. what does it mean it means that you need to believe that jesus christ is lord yes with all your heart you need to open your heart and believe that Jesus Christ is Lord. Mm -hmm. For you to just believe the words that we speak, it is faith. Mm -hmm. For you to read the word of God and believe, it is faith. So I want you to take these words that we speak, that Jesus Christ is Lord, and hold on to it, and your, your life will be transformed Amen. hallelujah Amen. The, the bible says in the book of james chapter 2 verse 19 you believe that there is one god you do well even the demons believe and tremble that means that if you believe that there is one god i want you to believe that jesus christ is lord hallelujah Amen. that is faith but I just want to let you know that faith is not just head knowledge. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. You need to know that you, 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 you need to apply faith. For you to believe that Jesus Christ is Lord, it's not enough for you to become a born again. You need to confess with your mouth. Hallelujah. Amen. You need to confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord, and then from there, you will be accepted. The confessing with your mouth is like a, making uh, uh, an execution through that which you have in the mind. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. When you execute that which you have in the mind, that means that you have, put, you have made the faith in action. You have put faith in action. All right. So, the true serving, the true serving faith is trusting in Jesus alone and for your eternal life. Hallelujah. Amen. For all eternity, you believe that Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. 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 So through that, we're going to lead you to the prayer of salvation. Yes. And then from there, you're going to follow that which my wife is going to say. Me and you, we're going to come together and then speak that which my wife is saying. Yes. And from there, you're going to be accepted in the kingdom of God. Amen. The kingdom of God is so amazing, and that's why we are here today. To remind you who you are. You are a child of God if you accept Jesus Christ. And you are a child of the devil if Christ is not in you. There is no the other way around. You know what I'm saying. So, it's very simple. It's very simple. You just need to repeat what my wife is going to say. And then from there, you will be a child of God. Amen. So, family of God, if you want to accept Jesus Christ, please say this little prayer with me. Amen. Amen. Let's say, Father God, Father God, I thank you. I thank you. 
for Jesus Christ. For Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I ask you. I ask you to come into my heart. To come into my heart. Be my Lord. Be my Lord. And my Savior. And my Savior. Forgive me. Forgive me. For all my sins. For all my sins. And help me. And help me to live for you. To live for you. From now. From now. Until eternity. Until eternity. Thank you. Thank you for accepting me. For accepting as me your child. as your child. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Child of God, I want to welcome you into the kingdom of God. You are now part of the family of God. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. I want you to take this courage and look for the right church in your community. A church that teaches the right way. Yes. Hallelujah. If you are in Cape Town, you are welcome to be part of us. We are Celebrate Faith Family Church, Cape Town. But you if you are not in Cape Town, please go and be part, be a member of the right church, the world best church in your community. Right now, as you continue with your life of, uh, of salvation, please go out also, share Christ to those that don't believe in Him. Be a testimony, testify that which the Lord has done and your life will never be the same. We love you already, me and my family. We love you already. We love you, we love you, we love you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And until we see you next time, mm. God bless you. Amen. Be blessed. Amen. Amen. <laughs> this should be